Welcome to Team Rocket Garage. We are in the Crown Vic. My fiance is driving right now so she can see if she can feel the difference before I can. We have a ADTR rear sway bar installed here. This is a 2010 P7B, P71, whatever you want to call it. And um, yeah, we're going for a test drive to see how it feels. Um, what are your initial impressions? Any, can you feel anything? pressure on one side it'll start pushing pressure on the other side a bigger one will create more balance in that and make it so the car leans less um, there are adjustable ones this that and the other for other types of vehicles there are one well there's probably two or three front sway bars and then basically three sway bars for the rear there's the stock p71 there's the uh, marauder um, which is a hair larger, and then there's the ADTR rear. The front, there's the ADCO front sway bar, there's the P71 front sway bar, um, and then the ADTR front sway bar. I also have one of those, and when that is on this car, we will also do, um, we'll do a install of that as well. So, pretty excited um, for what this does. Um, this car really pushed pretty heavy going into turns, um, even though it's on brand new tires. Um, so like you could really like overcome the push and then make it swing out, but it just wasn't the balance that I was looking for. So we'll see how this goes. Feeling it from the passenger seat, even just driving around the neighborhood, I can feel a difference. So this is kind of a roundabout. We'll see how this. Do you like that, Ash? Do you like feeling the power and the air conditioning at the same time? She is a Miata person. You gotta turn off the AC for that kind of performance. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is my turn to drive, so we're going to jump on the highway and we're gonna do big turn it's a big s curve to get on there and then there's a, a tighter roundabout that will go on we'll do two roundabouts so we can kind of get a feel um, usually 50 55 ish was about the maximum like comfortable speed there um, 40 is like the just kind of cruising it um, faster than normal traffic right um, so we will see what it's like y'all ever just have to hit the locks to get this thing off your arm doing 30 and it says to do 30 and that pisses me off just in that turn right there doing 50 um, not really a lot of speed for that specific kind of gradual curve but um, I can feel like myself kind of being shoved down into the seat instead of coming up out of it because of the, di the difference in the lane um, also my rear tires are pretty unbalanced one of them has like four ounces of weight on it which is a ton um, and I used to still be able to feel it back there I can't really feel it anymore, so it's definitely made a difference there. Obviously, I should fix the wheel itself, but... So if you guys want to see what I'm looking at, if you 
go and look at the belt route on 215 in Salt Lake City, the exchange on to 201 westbound to I-80. You see it looks kind of like a daisy. There's four little loop around. So it seems like there's a lot of traffic here, so we're not going to be able to get any speed or anything. We're behind a Equinox, so... Okay, yeah, honestly, I can feel the front, the front leaning a little bit more now. Like, the front lean is more noticeable, so the car itself feels poised, but now I can feel, like, the weakness in the handling is the front. Still has a ton of grip. Alright, here we go. Alright, so here's 60. Let's do what's comfortable. We'll do 50. Oop. Oh, that's under... It's pretty balanced kicking out there at 50. Just starting to slide on all corners. 50, we can hear all the tires. Oh, it's understeering now. Oh, there we go. I'm trying to manage that understeer. So I have a front sway bar for this. I wanted to do one at a time so I could feel the difference. Um, I personally like a car that oversteers more than understeers. Um, I'm a person who's done a lot of drifting in their life, and that's just something that's comfortable and safe for me. So that's what I was looking for. Um, I'm definitely going to throw on the front sway bar because it still feels like the car leans a lot, but it's not the rear's fault anymore. Um, the rear would just like the whole car would lean and the tire would fall down, but now the rear is really holding the car down. Um, I can feel that the front is, is just doesn't have as much control as it's supposed to. So very excited about that. Make sure you like and subscribe to my YouTube channel here for more Crown Vic content. We also have a Fox body. We have a 1984 short wheelbase Dodge that we go off-roading in, do some towing with, and we recover and um, restore and do all kinds of things with old cars. So thank you so much for watching this episode of Team Rocket Garage, and we'll see you later. Thank you.